Martin, and I'm here live from the dentist office. And I am presenting, Cagney Martin presents, Brush Up on Your Learning. What is Brush Up on Your Learning, you say? Well, Brush Up on Your Learning is a new video series that we're trying here at North Central Healthcare because we believe that education is something we can really sink our teeth into and it's not something that should be brushed under the rug. So today on this premiere episode of Cagney Martin Presents Brush Up on Your Learning, we're going to talk about new employees because they certainly are an asset to North Central Healthcare and we want to all help them be successful in everything they do. So I'm going to present you with five easy tips on helping new employees be successful. Number one, you're hearing it straight from the fake dentist herself, but smile. Show those pearly whites. Uh, it makes a big difference. New employees, it, uh, a smile can go a long way. So it might be the first thing that they see when they interact with you. And hopefully it's the last thing that when you leave the conversation, they remember you for having such a beautiful smile. Um, smile, it makes a difference. And it will show people that you're ready and willing to help them. Number two, introduce yourself. So for this one, I need to call my assistants. Now remember, new employees may be shy to be to start off with. They're coming into a brand new building and they don't know anybody, so introduce yourself. Such as this. Hi, I'm Mary. Are you new here? You look a little lost. Oh, my name is Kristen and I am lost. Could you please help me? Well, absolutely I'll help you. I remember my first day. I'm here to make you successful. Well, thank you so much. That makes such a big difference to me. So, in a nutshell, introduce yourself. Don't wait for a new employee to introduce themselves to you. Instead, make that first step, step make that first impression. Number three, understand that it can take new employees anywhere from three to six or even more time to really understand everything that goes along with their job. So just because they're not in training anymore or they take that little sticky off that says in training doesn't mean that they're going to understand everything about their job. It just means that now they're by themselves. Um, so understanding this can make a huge difference. Number four, give direction. This might be the person who's lost in the hall and you actually walk them to the cafeteria because they aren't quite sure or remember where it is. Or this might be the person who's standing in the middle of the hallway um, ready to do their work and they don't know where to start. Um, all of us have very complicated, intricate jobs. We are serving residents, patients, clients, um, even visitors. Uh, sometimes you can kind of get lost in the shuffle and not even know where to start. So provide direction. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're being bossy. Uh, it just means you're trying to help them. And lastly, number five, is provide positive feedback. All of us want to be told that we're doing a good job, and a new employee is no different. So um, understanding that people need compliments in their job, they need to be shown how to do things right, even if they're doing it wrong. Uh, so avoid the phrases uh, and the words what and why. What are you doing? Or why are you doing it like that? Instead, um, use more personal phrases such as, um, can I show you the way that I would normally do it? Or, this is the way that Mr. Jones usually tells me he likes his teeth brushed. Um, that becomes less offensive to a new employee and it becomes more about helping. So, those are five easy things all of us can do to help new employees be successful. Because that's really what we're about here at North Central Healthcare. So, stay tuned for more episodes of Katie Martin Presents Brush Up On Your Learning.